Hi everybody! Alright, I'm gonna make this video. It's just gonna be a mini short one, but I want to talk about how do you override ego? So what is ego? Ego is the part of your mind that's constantly telling you what you can't do. Constantly telling you how bad you look. Constantly telling you, you know, why you're never gonna be successful. Why you're always gonna be alone. Why you're, you're never gonna have a nice car. Why that hot chick's never gonna like you. Ego is always going to tell you everything that you can't accomplish. But why is it gonna tell you that? Because some part of yourself also feels like you can't accomplish it and, and you're just going to choose to stay in a behavioral pattern and not change it. And why would you not change it? Why would you not want to drive that car? Why would you not want that hot chick? Why would you not want that awesome job? Why would you not want to lose weight or whatever it might be you're trying to accomplish? Ego is going to challenge you at every turn. How do you override ego? Part of overriding ego is acknowledging what it is that you truly want in your heart. What is it that I truly want in my heart? I really can't stand my job and all I think about every day is how much I hate this job. So let's take this example because a lot of people are going to resonate with I can't stand my job. Why are a lot of people going to resonate with that? Because most jobs don't empower us. Most jobs don't bring out our creative style. Most jobs don't make us feel awesome every day. Most jobs promote Monday through Friday, work and feel exhausted, go home, make your dinner, go to bed and go back to work. And it's not fun. <laughs> what is it that you are looking for in your life? You have to go deeper, okay? How do you go deeper? You connect with your heart. How do you connect with your heart? You just choose to take a moment out of life. Go lay down in your bed. Go chill out on your couch. Don't turn the TV on. Don't turn your music on. Just choose to take literally five minutes for yourself. In fact, go put on the kitchen timer. Go put on your cell phone timer. Tell yourself, I'm not going to stop exploring this for 10 minutes. I'm actually going to put the timer on for 10 minutes. I'm going to acknowledge that today I took 10 minutes to actually explore my heart honestly about something in my life. I'm not ex going to explore how much I hate it in my mind, how much I can't do it, how much this, that, and the other thing, because that's you just exp experiencing ego you're actually going to take the time to not do that. You're actually going to take the time to not complain, to not to not say why things aren't awesome. You're going to take the time to explore how you feel in your heart, okay? So how do you do that? Quiet the mind. You take a deep breath. All the cheesiest methods, but these methods work. That's why everybody says to use them. <laughs> everybody says quiet the mind I can't seem to get that thing to shut up that's okay most of us have trouble with this you keep working on it just quiet just relax and quiet the mind now allow yourself to explore what the thing is that you are wanting answers on okay this I talk about this method in one of my spiritual healing techniques and I'll put that technique right up here in the corner so you can find that video it's like 42 minutes long but it's worth watching from beginning to end because it's, it's jam-packed with examples of how you can use your spiritual abilities to solve all the problems in your life and you will be able to accomplish this after you watch that video because we're actually going to do it together is what I do so in this video too how do you suppress the sounds of ego you take that scene, you take those feelings, you take that experience, you breathe through it, and you allow yourself to sort of play it out in your mind. This is me walking into the office building in the morning. Everything seems to be okay. I've got my coffee. I'm going to go sit down at my desk. Sit down at my desk. I'm actually doing work. I really don't feel comfortable around my boss. But why don't I feel comfortable around my boss? because they're a jerk, well, are, why, what is it that actually makes them that way? Why is it that I feel that way about them honestly? Like, give them an honest an analysis. Don't just go to the, the go-to lines. Well, they're rude. They're mean. They, they say everything wrong. They tell me I'm not good at anything. They aren't promoting me. They're this, that, and the other thing. The, that's ego talking. That's ego talking. That's not honesty. That's not heart. That's not the real feelings talking, okay? So let's actually go in 
you're acknowledging that there's something not right here about your boss. So let's go in and actually create a room in your imagination and you're going to sit down at the desk and your boss is going to sit on the other side of the desk and you're going to tell your boss everything that you feel inside. You say, you know, you won't promote me. You won't this, you won't that, you won't the other thing. And, I, and you know what? Quite frankly, you're a freaking asshole. Like go off. It's okay to tell him how you feel. The ego kind of voice. It's okay. Now pause. Allow now the a reflection of your boss to say how he or she feels back towards you. Okay. The boss is saying the boss is not responding. The boss doesn't know what to say. But the boss heard what you said, and the boss actually felt what you said, and the boss is trying to make sense or, or come up with a response. Boss isn't responding. Why not? Because part of it is that you just needed to tell your boss how you feel. <laughs> and now that you've gotten that out through connecting with your heart portal, you can leave the boss's room and say, thank you for listening to me today. I actually just needed to tell you that I feel a lot better now and just walk out and go sit down at your desk and say, you know what? I've talked this out with my boss. It may just be in my imagination, but you know what? It, I actually do feel better in my heart. So now that I've done that, what's the next thing? Well, I really can't stand, you know, this, this routine that we're having to do, or I don't know what your day at work is like. But you go through the scenes. Whenever you get a weird hair in there that is I don't like, now you, you go and sit with that weird hair and then you examine exactly your feelings about it until you feel like you've gotten it all off your chest. And then you say, you know what? It's just a job. In the end, the reality is this job has certain requirements. The reality is my boss it happens to be a soul that was allowed to be in this position. My soul, too, is exploring, you know, a reason for an exploration of self, basically. Every soul is exploring itself through different responsibilities as a human being. Different roles, different faces, different ways to express yourself or not express yourself. Choose to go, go inward or not go inward. Stay on the surface, watch television, listen to music, go to bed, do it all over again, and that's your life. Or actually go into these spaces and see what is there and feel what is there. So how do you, how do you suppress the ego voice? You actually take the time to take it easy, sit down, lay down, give yourself 10 minutes the more you do this, 10 minutes is not going to be enough time. You're going to need about a half hour, 45 minutes, an hour. Next thing you know, you're going to want to take a walk as an excuse to go, go get some time to yourself. Just walk outside. You don't have to run. You don't have to do it because you want to lose weight or anything. You actually just want to go explore your heart and honest feelings about things. And then take those scenes into here and, and explore your feelings, Okay. Now you're starting to alter your patterns right under ego's nose. You're altering patterns. You're feeling happier. You're feeling healed. And now because you're raising your vibration through these positive actions of quieting the mind and breathing, <laughs> the cheesy choices that work, <laughs> you're starting to raise your vibration. And now you're starting to ask more of life. Now you're starting to say, you know what? I actually don't want that hot chick because really she's attractive, but on the inside, she's just not my type, you know, she's not really what I'm looking for. Or you know what, I'm okay driving this car because if I had that other car, I'd have like a $600 a month payment and I really can't afford that right now. Actually, what I really want in life is just some financial stability. Actually, what I really want in life is a real nurturing companion, one that actually sees my heart, one that I could have a conversation with, not just drool over because she's hot, but actually enjoy talking to her. And through that gift of real nurturing companionship, the sexual experiences are now going to be through the roof because they're honest and genuine and they're nurturing and they're balanced between two bodies, two hearts, two minds that are loving towards each other, not hot for each other, because age will get the best of you eventually. Age gets the best of everybody. Age takes the hottest chicks on this planet and turns them into an old grandmother. I'm telling you, it happens. It's real. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not all about the looks. We already know this stuff. But sometimes we just need to go into our heart and actually acknowledge it for ourselves. Actually take the hot chick, put her here, and go have a time with her. Go take her on a date. Go put her on the other side of a, a nice restaurant table. Go take her out on the town. Go, you know, show her a really beautiful nature scene and see how she reacts. Not see how she would, how you want her to react towards you, but actually see how she would honestly react. In on, all honesty, she pro I would be bored. I'm sitting at on the other side of this table talking to her about real things happening in my life, and she's just staring at me. And she looks good, but reality is she's not actually really fulfilling me right now. I'm actually having more fun talking to myself and eating this awesome meal than I am sharing this moment with her. It's kind of cool to see her on the other side of the table. She is really hot, but the reality is deep down in my heart, taking the this in, scene into my imagination and playing those roles out, the reality is I don't like her at all. I can't even stand her. That's awesome. So now see how we're going right below the nose nose of ego. Ego just is going to, you know, barf all kinds of thoughts at, out at you. But you're taking the time. You start with 10 minutes. 10 minutes is never going to be enough time because you're going to get addicted to this. You're going to get so addicted to this. This is going to be way more fun than TV, way more fun than, than the radio or way more fun even than going to see live concerts and all kinds of stuff because you can go to live concerts right here. <laughs> you can go see Metallica live. You can go see, you know, David Bowie. You can't ever see David Bowie ever again, but you can go see him live here. You can actually go and talk to David Bowie right here, personally talk to him. Now you're having a real conversation with David Bowie in real life because you're doing it here. This is just as real as anything else when you go there. You can actually have a charming and beautiful soul, soulmate come visit you at a place that you design yourself. You say, you know what, if I could have my soulmate here with me in any place in this world, I, I want it to have a beautiful waterfall. I want there to be stars and then also some um, morning sunlight. I would like the air to feel like this so she might be a little bit cooler and need to snuggle into me. I really like to, you know, maybe there's some, you know, beautiful hot tub or, you know, natural hot spring or something. And so now go to that space that you create and now enjoy the hot spring with a little bit of cool air and the beautiful stars. And now open your heart and say, universe, I would really like it if my soulmate would come and visit me here. And now allow your soulmate to come and visit you in the space and share that beautiful moment with your soulmate. Now you're starting to discover what you're truly looking for in this world. Now you're looking, now you know what your, what your companion is truly like. Now you are starting to discover what it is you truly want in your heart of hearts. Now you're getting past the ego voice that's, you know, wants to cuss, wants to call people a jerk, wants to say this world sucks, wants to just see everybody as superficial. You're shutting the ego up and now you are entering into the heart and discovering the truth about yourself, about your, your world, about your job, about your relationships, about your friends, about your body, about your self-image, about your inner strength, about love about the spirit realm, about mountains and oceans and other planets. This is better than TV. This is the infinite space. This is where you go to discover yourself, discover your soul, discover your friends, discover your dreams. And now through those discoveries, you balance your energy pattern, you raise your vibration, you experience more sincerity in your life, more genuine, more honest, more heartfelt experiences, and now you're transforming your reality simply by doing this. So that's all I'm going to share for this video. It's kind of a mini smush of exactly what I just talked about in the video. I'll put a link to it. It's a video where I talk about how you can self-heal. And through self-healing, you sort of connect to the things that you want to change in your life and allow those things to manifest here in the image of a person. 
and I talk all about how you do this. It's really, really easy. And it's an awesome technique that'll that'll just go right along with this video. And then too, I'll link up um, another video about how you can self-heal through just simply clearing energy portals. It's really easy stuff to do, and you'll be a master at it right away. You actually can be a master at many things just by simply choosing to connect with what you truly want in your heart, aligning with that and allowing that to be a part of every day of your life. You make the time for it at first, it's going to feel like you have to make time for it, but eventually you're going to just want the time. You just want, you're just hungry for that time. You want more of that time because that is more real than this world that we live in. This world is so physical and so sort of skimming the surface of the deeper parts of who we are and how we feel inside and what we want this world to look like and how we want to feel this world around us. So that's so all I'm going to share for this video. I do, if you are interested in visiting with me one-on-one, -on -one, I would um, be honored to share spiritual healing to help you in your life or psychic wisdom. And um, you can connect with me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. So if you like this video, please, um, please put a like on it. Please share it with your friends and family. If you're interested in more videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. <laughs> all right, that's all I have to share. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. And thank you for supporting my channel.